is a demo of payload mapping in the copybook bundle management area of dev test portal. So we'll take a look at that. We'll go into manage copybook bundles. And I'll choose my CICS copybook bundle. And in that I've got a set of copybooks and a set of mapping files. And this, this utility exists already to allow me to uh, manipulate and work with um, copybooks and, and mapping files uh, to make things a little easier. For example, if I have um, this one here called demo get n, where did that go? There it is. It shows me the copy book, and I can tell it that I want to parse this copy book. Just click on this parser, and there's my parsed copy book. And this is very handy for taking a look at a, uh, a piece of data and trying to decide if this copy book is going to work. Uh, for example, if I have a piece of data that's, that's 180 bytes, I can look at this and say, well, this copy book, the highest level, the highest level in the COBOL copy book is an 05 level, and it's 190 bytes of data, so this obviously won't work. Or if it does match, then I, I have a pretty good idea that, that it's going to fit. And I can look at, at some of these things, some of the, the field lengths, to determine if this copy book is a good fit. Because it's often quite difficult to, to get the right copy book for the right, uh, uh, for the right program or the right uh, recording. So we've added another feature called payload mapping that makes it even easier. Here I've got this payload mapping tab. And if I click on it, I can go down and select a copy book. Uh, here they are. And I will get demo get in again. There's one for each, one for the request, and one for the response. Uh, I know they're the same, so I can just choose either one. And I happen to have some data that a customer sent me, and I want to see how it maps. So if I've got hex related hex hex data, data in a hex format, uh, you know, just just bytes of data, I can open the file here. There's my file, and it displays here. I have to manipulate the display a little bit to make a little bit to make it uh, make it show up okay. Anyway, here's my data, and it's using code page. Uh, 37, so it's going to map EBSID to ASCII for me. And here's the data in hex, and, and here's the data in character. And I can choose this copy book and click on the, the button here to map the payload, and it maps that data to the copy book so I can see how good of a fit it is. And I'll slide this over. First, let me get rid of this. It's a little more room. Slide this over, and I can see the mapping. So now I can actually look at the data mapped to the copy book and see that things fit in the proper fields. My account number looks right. Uh, the last name looks right. And I can have a fairly uh, high confidence level that this copy book is going to work. And if not, I can go in and, and edit the copy book right here, change it so that it does match the data correctly if I need to. I can also pull in data that's uh, base64. If I pull in a file that I is base64, here's what the data looks like. And that's obviously looks like garbage, but I know it's base64, so I can use this conversion button to either convert base64 to hex or backwards. So this, this button will do the conversion, and once it converts it, now it's readable. And I can do the same mapping and take a look at the file, the data actually mapped. And that is the new payload mapping feature in the DevTest console, or DevTest portal.